Welcome to Booze and the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a scorpion. Now, this cocktail, which is made in the tiki style, comes to us from Trader Vic Bergeron. And you can find it in print in his 1972 edition of Trader Vic's Bartender's Guide. Having said that, it is a split base cocktail. What I mean by split base is you take the base spirit and you split it either in half or in different varying proportions to give yourself unique flavors. Now, in this case, we're using both rum and cognac. So it is a shaken cocktail. So grab your shaking glass and put it off to the side. Then grab yourselves some oranges and some lemons because we need both of these juices. And let's be honest, this must come from the lemonest giganticus tree someplace because my navel orange is tiny in comparison. Having said that, what we'll do is we'll just cut these in half in preparation. And then after you've done that, we'll just grab ourselves a jigger. And what we'll do is start with our orange juice and we'll squeeze a total of two ounces or 60 milliliters and pour it into the glass. Now that you've got your orange juice in here, what we're going to do is squeeze in some lemon juice and you need about an ounce and because of the size of this lemon, we're going to squeeze this directly into the glass. Your third ingredient is an orgeat, and I'm using a homemade orgeat. We don't need a lot of this. We just need what works out to half an ounce or 15 milliliters. Now that you've added all of your juices and your sweetener here, what we're going to do is add our base. And we're going to start with a little bit of cognac. I'm using a Mukau cognac. Uh, if you don't have cognac, really, you could use brandy. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Now we're going to use a total of three quarters of an ounce, which works out to 22 and a half milliliters. The next part of our base is a golden rum. Now, in this case, I'm using Fortress Rum, which is from Nova Scotia, originally from Jamaica, but aged in the Magson de Roy on the edge of the North Atlantic Ocean. And that gives it some unique flavors. And what I mean by saying that is choose the rum that you want that gives you the flavor notes that you think work best in your cocktail. Now, in this case, we're going to use an ounce and a half, which is 45 mils. Now that you've built the base of your cocktail, what we're going to do is shake this with some ice. However, I'm going to use crushed ice because what we'll do is we will free pour directly into the cocktail. So you don't want to fill the glass all the way, but most of, about half the way or two thirds of the way. You want to make sure that you do a whip shake, but we are not going to shake it until everything is completely dissolved because we don't want to over dilute the cocktail. So give it a flip and whip shake it. So what you want to do is pop that off there with the strength of a thousand citrus fruits, put it off to the side and grab yourself your glass of choice. In this case, I'm going to use a goblet, which we're going to fill about halfway with ice. Because we're going to free pour it, we want to make sure that we have room for everything. So just fill your glass up, try not to make a mess everywhere as you do it. Now my ice is crushed and it's not crushed tiny, tiny. It's kind of a medium sized crushed and we'll just free pour this in. Absolutely gorgeous. Take a look at that. What we'll do is we'll just now fill this with a little bit more crushed ice just to bring it all the way to the top. Give ourselves a little bit of a garnish of a lime like so. And here you have a scorpion. Absolutely gorgeous to look at. Grab yourself a bit of a straw, just slide it in. Oh, that is so good. You get a little bit of that Jamaican funk, a hint of the brandy or cognac, whichever you chose to use. And the citrus fruit is loud and proud with a slight hint of almond. If you love tropical drinks as much as I do, take a look right here. 